everyone and welcome back to Exploring Attractions. My name is Scott and you're watching your Stop for All Things Theme Park and Attraction Related. We're back here at Disneyland because there's some exciting updates going on throughout the resort, including the San Francisco Project, the transformation of Pacific Wharf to San Francisco. More recently, Disney released some brand new pieces of concept art, which I'll put up on the screen right now so you guys can check all of that out. It's very exciting since they're providing us updates and promising that it'll open up in summer of this year but on top of that we also have magic happens the parade i guess you could say brand new parades and some of us were lucky enough to see it two weeks into the 2020 debut date uh but yeah it's back it's been delayed for a couple days due to the rain so we're going to check that out for our first time today in three years let's go ahead and start this day off with some california adventure fun while i have you guys here please subscribe down below with those bell notifications on at the time of this recording, we are 26 subscribers away from 10,000, so please help us reach that goal and leave this video a like at the end if you enjoyed it. Clear skies today from what it looks like, so hopefully there's no delay in magic happens today, but yeah, it's looking like clear skies compared to the past couple days and past couple weeks that we've seen here in Southern California with all the rain and whatnot. Quick look down the Hollywood land at the progress of them repainting this facade right here. It looks a little bit more vibrant, but no noticeable progress as this goes on. Obviously all the covering is up right now, as it has been for the past couple weeks. If we walk a little bit further down, there's something even more exciting I want to talk about, which of course is the return of the Hyperion Theater, or more importantly, the debut of a brand new show because Disney just recently teased that there's something exciting coming in the summer for a limited time run. And lots of people are speculating that that's Rogers the Musical, just judging based on the little sneak peek video that they put out Looks like that's what's going to be placed here in the Hyperion Theater. I cannot wait to see it and I cannot wait to finally step foot into this theater once again because honestly, I think this is one of the best theaters at any theme park just the way it's laid out, how nice it is in there. I do miss Frozen a whole lot. More importantly, I miss Aladdin a whole lot, but it will be nice to have a show finally back here in this theater in California Adventure. And of course, it adds a brand new entertainment offering as well. Made it into the Pacific Wharf section of the park. And if you guys are familiar with that concept art that I talked about earlier in the video, this beer truck right here will be no more, or at least it won't be no more in this location. You know, they may move it somewhere else, but actually this corner right here, right over here is where that Baymax meet and greet is going to be at. So. And no more beer truck, at least like I said, for this location. But if we walk further in over here, you can see there are construction walls for the bridge that will have that brand new structure that will lead you into San Francisco. I can see construction workers already working on it. Oh yeah, it looks like they've repainted the entire bridge already, or at least half of the bridge, that red color, or a blue color. I wonder if the earthquake features are gonna be there. And you can see those pillars have now been removed. All the wood around them has been removed. So you can see the start of the pillars that will hold that tall structure on top of this bridge, the entrance of San Francisco Square. This is awesome looking at this. And, and yeah, San Francisco Square will be the official name of this brand new mini land here, converting from Pacific Wharf to San Francisco Square. There's these signs posted everywhere, all the different construction walls. This is about as far as we can go though. We cannot cross this bridge right now, so we're gonna have to go around all the way on the other side where our car's line is at, and then to walk across the Pixar Pier Bridge to get an even further shot and a more wide angle shot. So let's go check that out. Actually, you kind of get a neat shot if you walk into this photo op with all the fish, of course, at the other side of it. Actually, the other side that we were just on looks a little bit more complete than this side. Of course, the rest of the area is drained right now. No ducks, the ducks don't have a home temporarily. All the ducks used to hang out around here. I'm sure they're on the other side of this near where they have World of Color at, but obviously the rest of Pacific Wharf will start construction soon, but it seems like the main focus is getting that brand new bridge up. But yeah, they are definitely gonna be changing the rest of these buildings just to fit the theme of San Francisco, and of course, all centered around Big Hero 6. We are now on the other side of the bridge. We're just right down there to the right in Pacific Wharf. Now we're over here standing on the entrance to Pixar Pier. And one thing that I notice is you can start to see on the very far right hand side, start to see some of the uh, taller portions of the bridge start to erect a little bit. I wonder how tall this is going to be because from the concept art it looks pretty tall. It'll be exciting to see. The sight lines will be great. I know, we love visiting that word sight lines. And then over to the left, looks like they're working on getting the sign ready to go. The Pacific Wharf sign is obviously uh, taken off and soon they'll have the San Francisco Square sign going up. But And they're moving very fast on all the progress to open up in summertime. We don't know what month, we just know it'll be done 
by summertime. So I'd assume this bridge, this is my best guess, I'd assume the bridge would be done probably in the next month, maybe by the end of the month, and then they'll start working on everything else to get it ready for that uh, opening time frame. It's actually exciting is everything going on at the Disneyland Resort right now. Right across from me is the Pixar Place Hotel, which hasn't seen any real updates, but obviously they're in the process of transforming it from Paradise Pier Hotel to the Pixar Place Hotel. And then of course, Splash Mountain, we don't know when that's closing, but it'll be very exciting to try the construction progress uh, for that into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. There's lots of exciting things happening here at the Disneyland Resort and something that honestly I'm quite excited about. That of course is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway standby. Yeah, that's right. Standby for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway about three weeks into its official opening. Yeah, they actually do have signs right here, uh, right to where the other entrance to the bridge is at pointing people in the right direction if they have mobile orders for all the restaurants in Pacific Square. Of course, there's the logo again right there. Yeah, right behind these walls is that sign that we were talking about that they took the Pacific Wharf lettering down. And they'll soon put the San Francisco Square lettering up. I also should mention that the California Adventure Food and Wine Festival starts this Friday. We don't know when we'll be out here to check this out, but we'll for sure be out here tasting everything with the Sip and Saver passes. Looks like we got some seasonal stuffed animals here in Elias & Co. We got obviously Mickey and Minnie in their Easter Bunny costumes. And then Stitch, and I think this is still a Valentine's one. I'm pretty sure, just yeah, judging. Just look at his ears. Oh yeah, their hearts. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you're my bad today. But yeah, you got Mickey and Minnie here. Um, Easter Bunny costumes. Minnie obviously rocking the purple. And then Mickey rocking the baby blue. What do they go for? What does Mickey and Minnie like go for? Blue. I guess, yeah. It's $30. $30 yeah. for a uh, Mickey and Minnie plush. Oh, does it? That's cool. It says Disney 2023, so you know what um, Easter year that you bought this from. All right, let's make our way into Disneyland and find a spot for the Magic Happens Parade at 3.30. It's funny, right now in the uh, promenade over here, they're playing, or Esplanade, they're playing the Magic Happens soundtrack. Kind of funny. We are headed over to this small world area because typically when we watch daytime parades, it's our favorite spot to watch them just because it shoots out right there in the small world area and it seems to be the, where the least amount of people are at. And 30 minutes before showtime, there's not a whole lot of people where we're sitting, but literally right down that path is where magic happens starts off. So right at 3:30, we're gonna see the parade. Whereas people on Main Street they have to wait about like 15 minutes or so. Obviously you get a cooler view of it, but yeah, if you want to watch the parade right away, right as soon as the time is scheduled for, like 3.30, then you can come.
right after magic happens, we hopped into the standby for Mickey and Minnie's just because it was posted at 30 minutes. Probably the best time to hop in to the line if you're trying to ride it during standby, it's right after magic happens. And it's posted at 30 minutes. We've been in line for about 10 minutes and we're actually in the extended queue, but it leads right into the last uh, couple rooms until we get into the free show. I mean, yeah, the uh, stroller parking right now is completely filled. Whereas when they were doing virtual queues, there is uh, like barely any strollers over here. So you can definitely tell that they're running standby for sure. And no, Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin is still not open. I don't think they're gonna be open that until uh, the rest of Toontown opens up. I missed it a whole bunch. I wish that they had it open right now, especially since now they are doing standby for Runway Railway, but you know, who knows when they'll open up Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin. But to sum up my thoughts on Magic Happens, I love it just as much as I did the first time in 2020. Still one of my all time favorite parades here. Um, Magic Happens is just great. The music playing, the performers are wonderful. The floats are amazing. I highly recommend you check out Magic Happens because like last time, you don't know when it'll be your last time that you watch that parade. But in all seriousness, I think we'll have it for the entire summer. Um, it's just a fantastic parade and it's even better at night. Now, if you want like a full um, video showing the Magic Happens parade, I'll have that up on my channel either after this video or before this one. We also have one from 2020 at night, which I'll leave linked down below in the description. Over here in New Orleans Square, because there's some new construction walls up for Tiana's Place, which was originally French Market, which we recorded last time we were out here at Disneyland. It was the uh, last day of French Market. Well, let's go over there and check out the progress for transforming that into Tiana's Place. And yep, looks like construction has already started for the transformation to Tiana's Place. The sign is already down. Uh, for French Market, they have a piece of the concept art right up there. What it's supposed to look like. I'd assume that this would get done uh, relatively fast. Like, it's an easy switch over, despite the theming that they're gonna put in. It's a really easy switch. Like, they're not changing anything drastic other than the theming of the building and then obviously some interior work. So, I don't expect this to take very long at all. But yeah, there's construction walls stretching all the way around to the New Orleans Square train station. And then obviously there's signage pointing people to where the uh, train station's at and restrooms, of course. There's more of the construction right above these construction walls. It'll be real exciting when we finally see the uh, Tiana's Place sign right up above the building, which I would expect would be put on very, very soon, considering the fact of how fast they're already moving since it's closed just nearly a week ago. We're gonna end the day with a little bit of splash amount of fun since it's only a 15 minute wait, which I think will be a little bit shorter. So let's go ride some Splash Mountain. Well, I gotta say, now I am freezing cold because it's 50 degrees outside and we just got off Splash Mountain. We had a log to ourselves, which was awesome because I was able to film a POV, which will be uploaded probably in the next couple months, whenever Splash Mountain closed. But um, I'll put the photo up on the screen right now of us uh, going down and having the log to ourselves. But after a great ride on Splash Mountain, I'm pretty excited about Tiana's Value Adventure coming very, very soon. And I can't wait to track all the construction progress for that as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We enjoyed filming all these updates, doing a, a weekly Disneyland update as usual. Um, for this week, I think we have planned a couple videos coming out, uh, updates and whatnot. And then we may actually drive down to see because it's been a while since we filmed a vlog there. So that'll be a whole lot of fun too. If you're new here, subscribe with those bell notifications on. Hope you guys are enjoying all the content from our new subscribers. Hello, my name is Scott from Exploring Attractions. Uh, thanks for checking everything out, especially with the two Vegas videos that we filmed. They were pretty successful, so thank you all for that. Leave this video a like. My name is Scott. You've been watching Exploring Attractions, Positivity Ski, and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.